Emirates has long wanted to operate service to Germany's capital, Berlin. With the long-awaited opening of the city's new Brandenburg Airport taking place in late 2020, it seems only natural that the Dubai-based airline operate service to the German capital. And yet, it doesn't. So why is this? According to RBB24, Emirates is eager to operate service to the new Berlin-Brandenburg Airport from its home in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. And it's not just the airline that wants to make this happen. Indeed, German business associations and chambers of industry and commerce have advocated for Emirates' presence in Berlin. Businesses and tourism promotion agencies in the two countries are also wanting this service. Unfortunately, under current regulations, an additional Emirates destination in Germany is not possible. That's because of a long-standing bilateral air service agreement between Germany and the United Arab Emirates that limits the airline to serving a maximum of four airports in the country. Currently, the four German cities are Frankfurt, Munich, Dusseldorf and Hamburg. The carrier is reluctant to relocate one of its landing rights and has been instead pushing for an additional permit. While Emirates and other advocates for a Berlin service may be renewing their efforts due to Brandenburg Airport's opening, the airline has been wanting to fly to the city for years. As early as 2009, Emirates had been eyeing service to Berlin Schonefeld. Arabian Business reported in 2019 that the mayor of Berlin was calling for the bilateral air service agreement to be expanded, saying, The government of Berlin is in favor of direct flights to Dubai. Emirates would have to give up another German market in order to fly to Berlin. As the overall demand is growing, this would of course make no commercial sense. Michael Muller, Mayor of Berlin via Arabian Business 2019. The previous Mayor of Berlin reportedly suspected that the lack of progress was due to lobbying of the German federal government by Lufthansa. These suspicions were raised a decade ago, in an interview in 2011. On this topic, Lufthansa issued this statement at the time. If Emirates gave up one of its four existing destinations, Berlin could immediately be integrated into its flight schedule. That's a question of company strategy. Air service agreements are supposed to ensure an ambitious level of connectivity as well as an international level playing field, including a fair and balanced market access for all airlines involved. Going even further back to 2009, Emirates had issued a public statement on its website stating that its services to Berlin and Stuttgart would, quote, not impact negatively on German carriers, particularly Lufthansa, adding, such operations would provide numerous benefits and opportunities to all concerned German stakeholders. Whether or not the existing agreement remains in place because of Lufthansa lobbying can be debated. However, it's quite clear that a new Emirates service to Berlin would have a noticeable impact on the aviation landscape due to the airline's global reach and its ability to fly travelers from all over the world to Berlin via a single stop in Dubai. Of course, Qatar Airways, with its similar operating model to Emirates, might be impacted just as much as Lufthansa if the new route were to happen. We'd love to hear from you on this topic. Do you think that the Germany-UAE bilateral agreement should be amended to give Emirates additional German cities? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.